Critics of the Obama space policy can be found on both sides of the aisle. They say the administration's approach will leave a black hole in the U.S. aerospace industry. Congressman, the next destination, as I said before, is the International Space Station. And we've got to do that not one more time. right, then. What is the one after that? It's Mars. So there's nothing in between, as far as you're concerned. But there are intermediate stops. What are the they? Way there. What's the next one? The moon is a is a destination. Lagrange points are destinations. Which one is next? You mean where do we go immediately next? Is that is that the question? That's what next means. Congressman, I, we are in the process of developing a program. I will I will have to be able to give you the details, and I will come back and make it for the record in the coming months. Joining us is Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida, as you can see, grilled NASA's chief at a Science and Technology Committee hearing last week. And Congressman Grayson, did you get those details? No, and I hate to think we're spending all this money about how to go where without knowing where where is. Congressman, what about the argument that um, it's not worth right now spending money on trying to explore space when we have so many problems here on Earth? I don't agree with that. I never have. We've had a very successful space program for half a century, and it's part of our nature to want to explore. That's what it means to be a human being, to want to know what's beyond the next hill. And that's what the space program does for us. What about those, some of the scientific limita limitations that um, we've not been able to overcome in terms of a zero gravity and the effects of radiation and things we haven't figured out that might make travel to Mars actually safe? Well, look, that's the point. As President Kennedy said, we don't do these things because they're easy. We do them because they're hard. And when we do things that are hard, we learn a lot about the world and about ourselves. What do you make of, uh, of Bold and the, uh, the NASA head and, and how he's doing over there? Well, I think the president made this decision, and I think it's not the right one. I, I think we should continue with our with NASA's own space program until, at some point, the commercial space becomes feasible. I have nothing against the commercial space program, but I, I just don't see it developing to the point where it's going to help us soon enough. And in the meantime, we're shutting down manned space exploration because we're waiting for it to appear. I want to read you, though, what the Nobel Prize winning physicist uh, Steven Weinberg wrote in the Wall Street Journal. He says, the manned space flight program masquerades as science, but it actually crowds out real science at NASA, which is all done on unmanned missions. The president budget calls for spending $19 billion on NASA, and for much less than the cost of sending a few astronauts once to a single location on Mars, we could send hundreds of robots like Spirit and Opportunity to sites all over the planet. Your reaction? Well, that's nothing new. Scientists have been saying that for decades, decades, but that fundamentally misapprehends why we have a space program. Look, I represent Central Florida, and I represent the area in Central Florida where Disney World is located. Nobody wants to read about Disney World. Everyone wants to go there. That's the fundamental difference. People want to broaden the human experience through the manned space exploration program. It's not the same to send a machine. It just isn't, and people recognize that. Congressman Alan Grayson, Democrat from Florida. Congressman, always a pleasure having you on. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, too. And by the way, we had an opportunity earlier today.